all right guys let's just do a quick one just few minutes video about color codes or color theory in web development the takeaway you should have at the end of this video is colors have their own code called hexadecimal codes preceded with a hash symbol let's go straight and put it into coding so you understand what we're talking about they say seeing is believing let's get this visualized on my HTML here, I just want to have a basic H1 tag and just call it color codes. You could, it could be anything, but let's call it color codes. All right. So that's all I have on my HTML. Let's go over to the CSS. This you already know is the normal or usual presets of margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, border box. So let's style this our H1. Let's give it a color of red. That is it. It's not a red color. Let's take it to the middle. Using text align. Center. It's not in the middle. Let's bring it down a bit by using margin top. Margin top. Let's give it margin top 50 pixels. It's now down a bit. Let's increase the font size to let's say 50 pixels. Okay, there we go. Now we want to focus on colors. All right. First off, we said the color is red. This red is the English connotation. There is a hexadecimal connotation, which is the language of the computer, the microprocessor itself. If you hover over this, this is the RGB code. If you click here, it changes to hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is preceded with a hash sign. Okay, that is it a hash f000 the thing is we have three main primary colors our red which is arrow g green and b blue so up here the first two characters ff represents red the second two represents green while the last two represents blue now if you see the second two and the last two characters R zero only the first two characters are ff that symbolizes red that is why this color is red so this is a decimal code for red now for black there's a decimal code is hash zero in three places hash zero in six places i mean it could be three places it could be six places but essentially it should be six characters so that's black white is f in six places good so that's white you see it disappeared from the screen that is why you can't see it anymore then remember i said the first two represents red the second two represents green and the last two represents blue which means if we change this first two from ff to zero zero sorry let's go this way ff to zero zero this is what we have a fusion of green and blue if we change the next two to zero zero do we have full blue color so red is zero in this case green is zero represented by the first two and the second two characters while the last two characters ff represents blue that's what we have now if we change on this color that is black you see all the characters are zero if we change the middle two to ff you will see to give us a green color that's green right there okay if you, if you comment this one out you see now it's green so this is the hexadecimal codes for colors every color has its own hexadecimal codes take note of this because in your project folder where you have to access your images i'll also be dropping color codes that were used on the mock-up so that your design the design of your website will look as close as possible to what we have on the mock-up let's take this color thing a step further by doing something with the body which is this white area over here so let's give the body a background color of let's say spring green okay that's the background color of spring green if you hover over it 
you will see the RGB code. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. So the first one represents red, the second one represents green, the last one represents blue. But then let's focus on hexadecimal. Just click here, that's hexadecimal code. So on the, on the hexadecimal side of the code, the first two characters are zero, the second two are FF, the last two are 7F. This is the hexadecimal color code for spring green. You see now it has changed to spring green. Okay, so you can also do a background color, background color of hash seven 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 seven. That's some grayish kind of color. All right, you can change it. The minimum um character you could have here is zero. Why the maximum character is f? Remember, hexadecimals go from zero to nine in characters and a to f. So what I mean is, you can change this guy to ff to give a distinct color you can change this guy to a you know it gives a particular variant you can make this guy b you know you can make this guy zero so different is a decimal codes represents different colors so imagine the range of colors you can get just by having his decimal codes for these six characters so that is a brief i wanted all right this is a brief narrative i wanted to give you guys about colors in their hexadecimal format all right then again since someone on the whatsapp platform or whatsapp group already asked about gradient or a mix of two different variants of colors let me just do a quick touch on it just a few minutes all right so if you choose to implement gradient background, this is the code for it. You go background, just background, and you type linear gradient. In here, you specify the two colors you want to set as your shades of colors or your blend of colors. All right. Here we go. Let's take two colors like um, red, comma, um, yellow. That's what you get. Now, we want it to blend from left to right. We're going to set an angle of 90 degrees, 90 DEG, then a comma. So that is what you get. This is the gradient color that's a mix of red and yellow. If you change it from red to, from yellow to green, this is what you have. If you change the red to blue, this is what you have. So that's the mix of colors. Okay, you can actually put um, more than one, more than two colors. Actually, you can go, um, you can add a yellow color to it, and that's a blend of three colors, depending on what you choose. Now, just like every color has an hexadecimal value, you could change this blue to its hexadecimal connotation, the green and uh, the yellow so the point i want to make here is that you can actually use a gradient of colors in their hexadecimal format all right let's just take out this blue and leave two colors so this is the gradient combination of green and yellow